Hi, and welcome to a great solo kayaking adventure around the beautiful St Ninians Islands group of the Shetland Islands. St Ninians is situated down the southwest of mainland Shetland and famous for its beautiful Tombolo beach, apparently the largest in the UK, with pristine sands and historic ruins. Beautiful islands. Crystal clear water. Exciting sea conditions. And loads of caves, arches and gills to explore. It was Shirley's first visit, and my first day back on Shetland. The ferry docked at 7am, we drove straight to the most southerly point, Sumbra Head Lighthouse, actually driving across Sumbra's airport runway, followed by a visit to Jarlshof, prehistoric and Norse settlement, then on northwest to Bicton and St Ninians for lunch and an explore. Shirley noticed I was getting twitchy while having lunch, as I stared over to St Ninian's Isle across the flat calm sea. She could clearly see I was being drawn to the water and wanted to be back in the kayak. OK, she said, why don't you just go? Well, as I say, it would have been rude not to. So by 1.45, I was back in the kayak and heading out across the bay. Beautiful blue sky and a flat calm sea. Shetland on a great day. I was soon navigating my way through lovely arches, around little sandy coves, and exploring the many caves. Leaving each little cove and gully gave glimpses of more small headlands with their surprises around each corner. This was so relaxing and great to be back in Shetland. But this was all new as circumnavigating St Ninians was a first for me. This was becoming more and more impressive the further I went on. More caves and now gills with their collapsed roofs and side passages. More seabirds and wildlife now, as I made my way out and around into more gullies. Small tunnels and passageways through the headland.
this was turning into a spectacular trip. As I worked my way round to Loose Head, the most northern point of the group, the sea state was beginning to change, becoming more active with the westerly swell. On returning later in the afternoon, I just had to fly the drone to capture the beauty of this extensive group of islands with aerial footage. An active sea, although not very noticeable with altitude, the foam trails around the coastline were a true giveaway. Back in the boat though, it was now time for some real excitement in the swell as I carefully worked my way through and around the reefs along the exposed shoreline. Stunning views as I worked my way down the western shore in the afternoon light. On seeing some caves in the cliff, I picked my way carefully inshore, avoiding the reef breaks to take a closer look. Stunning caves with crystal clear water, what's not to enjoy about this place? Beautiful blue skies and streaked cloud formations, just adding to the sensory overload. solitude of paddling alone, yet all around was nature's life and energy.
Sadly, a deeper exploration of the cave wasn't possible without a torch, as I'd left it at home. Pitch Home, the most westerly of St Ninian's Island group. And yes, more swell to be enjoyed off its western side. Over a metre swell now, so I was keeping a keen eye out for anything rogue. Being smacked into the rocks, or even an unlucky swim out here, wasn't an option. More breaks off the south end of Hitchholm as I worked my way back to the west side of St Ninian's. and still a lot of energy down the west side. Passing Longerberg Point and on to Swain Home. I picked my way in carefully into the narrow gully between them. Although there were still breaks on either side, I was safely into quieter water. I took a quick look into the gully, but decided the outside of Swainholm would provide a bit more action and returned between the reefs to the west side.
still a beautiful day, with the swell providing fantastic views of waves crashing along the shoreline and the light reflecting off the foam. Turning east now as I round the southern end of Swainholm, with Corholm and Innsholm towards the southern end of the group. A nice little gully I thought, with wave activity, but I certainly wasn't going to make it over that ledge. I picked my way through the reefs in calmer water now as I made my way in towards St Indian's Bay and the south side of the Tombolo. But hang on, I wasn't done yet. I found another route back out to the west side, around Innsholm, where I could still sample a bit more activity from the swell to complete the full circumnavigation of the entire group. That's more like it, back out with more movement under the kayak and the sound and sight of waves breaking over the reefs. When you're out on a solo trip and you see a helicopter, you automatically think someone, somewhere, has pulled the plug and they could be coming for you. Not this time.
And suddenly, there it was, the stunning stretch of sand of St Ninian's famous Tombolo Beach. I landed, and a swift carry over the Tombolo Beach to relaunch on the north side, and a short paddle back to the camper. Shirley had seen me, and had come down as planned to help with the boat, then as both go for a walk on the island. Are you going up there, Shirley? But I'd forgotten about that bit having been in my own little world for a couple of hours. A fabulous solo trip, packed with loads of memories of beautiful St Ninians. This was only day one of almost three glorious weeks, enjoyed by Shirley and I, touring around the Shetland Islands. If you've enjoyed being along with me on my sea kayaking adventures, click on the thumbnails for recommended videos from my channel. Please like, share with friends and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.